oh man, we are already in July, which means I'm looking at the June affiliate and ad income for my sites. So let's see how I did. Revenue has finally increased again from $3,100 to $3,500. Now Isoic is still holding strong in all of this. Ads are around $1,800 for a couple of months straight now. But the affiliate revenue increased again, almost at the level of ads. So I'm about 50-50 right now. Now here's my Azoic income. I'm showing you exactly what I earned and I'll show you my full p and in a minute as well. So buy my bond, still my largest site, earns around $639. Then my cat site, which is almost all Facebook traffic. And I created a few cool new posts with AI that really helped is around $150. And then my second largest site is Lakeside Smokers with $215. And my EPMV for a lot of these is quite low because I get quite a lot of traffic from outside of the US. Now my full niche site PL, Amazon US, $800 and $80, Bol.com, which is the largest retailer in the Netherlands, $300. Then my own products, $13, which is a Kindle ebook I have on Japanese food. And I think I might add a few extra Kindle books as well for my toy size or maybe an extra cookbook so I can diversify my revenue a bit more. Then Ezoic ads, $1,700. I didn't have any income from other affiliate programs, but I did get a payout in July for some of the affiliate revenue that had accrued in one of my accounts, which is around $300. So that's nice as well. And a diversification away from just Amazon. And I have other Amazon storefronts as well, $486 that I implement through Genius Link. Now I have some YouTube ad income, $100. And that makes my total income $3,500. My total costs were $2,087, which makes my profit $1,426 this month. I'm doing this full time right now and I've decided to stop working with outside writers and editors for a while because of the cost and until I can see the results of my entity SEO strategy. I have published 33 new articles this month. And I'm really going for less articles, but of more quality, especially since I'm doing them myself now. And I've been focusing on my toy site for right now to see if I can increase the affiliate revenue that way. And last month's costs were accounting, content. So I've stopped that. The only content here is from uh, the OpenAI API, which I use to write a few of my articles. Then hosting was quite high this month because a lot of my sites, uh, the hosting was renewed. Then office which is my phone and internet. And then a one-time cost, quite high one, because I purchased the course by Create to Book Gubur about semantic SEO to use that to implement, implement my entity SEO strategy even better. And I'm already seeing some quite good results on one of my sites. I'll let you know if this keeps up so I can make a video about how I'm doing that. And then the tools, $760. Those are Aweber, $44. Canva is a yearly plan renewal. So that's $38. That's just this month. Ezoic to get in a premium plan. Then Genius Link um, to monetize all of my Amazon links and get the other affiliate programs in there as well. Then G Translate. That's a yearly plan for one of my sites, which I translate into English. And then WordLift, which I use for entity SEO. So that's a total of $760 for uh, tools. Here are the costs I made over time. You can see I used to put most of my revenue towards content. So I have a couple of very large sites at this point. But now that I'm doing this full time, I'm doing this by myself for a while. So those costs are way down. Now the revenue diversification, it's as 51% and affiliate 47%. You can see the um, affiliate revenue was a bit down uh, the last couple of months because most of my affiliate posts were hit harder than my purely ad content. And now I'm increasing that affiliate revenue again, uh, especially using the entity strategy on my toy site. You can see Amazon US is 52% of my affiliate income and I have the other Amazon storefront which keep their commission percentages separate from the Amazon US, oftentimes significantly higher. So I'm eager to see if this strategy of producing less posts but of way higher quality using entity SEO and semantic SEO will pay off in the long run. And you can check out my video on entity SEO that I made last week here in the video card.